what I'd like to demonstrate today is when I was just recently in New York, the biggest buzzword was colour. So it was all colour, colour, colour. Um, I just recently returned from a trip in India and what I found was the women were colouring their hair with coloured powder. So I think that colour is a really great thing but you can't really have it every single day of your life. So what I'm going to show you today is a thing that's called colour pigment. Now you can just use eyeshadow normally and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to colour Jade's hair completely pink. Now the thing, Jade would love to have pink hair but she doesn't want to have pink hair every day and what the powder does is gives it like an amazing texture. So all you have to do is just take a bit of powder in your hand, rub it into the palm of your hand and then place it on top of the hair and actually rub it into the hair so you get this really amazing texture plus this amazing colour. And I think the best thing about it is that it just rinses out in water. So you get this great texture without having to sit in the salon for four hours. So firstly we used a bit of anti-gravity because we wanted to get a bit of anti-gravity in the hair to make it stick. So I've done that secretly without you even seeing it because I didn't want to sit here with the hair dryer and dry the hair. So section the hair off, always start at the top of the head. Uh, I always find it's better to get everything onto the top and the front first and then you can sort of fudge the back sort of later. So just smooth it through the ends, rub it through. You get a bit dirty but you know, you'll be fine. So what we're going to do is concentrate mainly at the top and work our way down. Just do it section by section. Just pinch a little bit, put some in the palm of your hands. You see it's quite sort of iridescent. Um, you can use orange, you can use pink, you can go you know, crazy if you want to. You can mix your colours in. I think that having your hair coloured like this is a really big investment, but just colouring it pink for the night or for the day is a really good thing for clients. And it gives the, the hair an incredible texture that you've never really sort of seen before because it's a much drier texture. And you can blow dry it afterwards as well to get more of a softer look as well. So I did it for Vogue magazine just recently in India. And if you look closely, you can see we just put it just in the part line of the hair. So there's a definite sort of orange part because we wanted to sort of emulate what they did in India. Um, in India, what a woman does is she puts that orange stuff in her hair once she's married. So it was like a wedding sort of thing, but we're using hot pink because we don't really want to offend anybody. So this is pure pigment. Now we just keep working that through the hair. Rub into the palms. work that into the ends of the hair. So this is not for Mrs. Brown who just wants a little bit of softness, this is for someone who wants a very dramatic look. Okay, so we're getting this right through Jade's hair now. I think the trick is to wipe your hands over the hair, so don't go running your hands through the hair because you don't want to break up the powder too much. The, the more, the thicker you put the powder, the more iridescent the colour is. Now if you're feeling that you want it a bit more pastel-y, you can blow wave the hair afterwards, which gives it a nice pastel look, and it means you've got less product falling out everywhere as well. So it can be a bit of a problem if you're wearing a white suit to have pink hair, so you want to try and blow wave that out as much as possible. So I find that when I'm working, I like to run my hands over the hair and around the hair. I never really go through the hair because when you're going through the hair, you're taking away your natural texture. So just be mindful that you're not really doing that and make sure the hair is completely dry before applying the powder, purely because you, want, you don't want the powder to get any brighter. And if the hair is wet, then the powder is going to be a lot brighter, but also will make it a lot more natural. So it really depends on what look you're going for. I don't believe this is a natural look and we're not really trying to be natural here. We're trying to get a rough sort of punk. Um, Zandra Rhodes, I think, would be, would be the original person who wore pink hair all of her life. And I think she still has pink hair. She's about sort of 60 and looks amazing. But, you know, it's high maintenance. So this is a low maintenance way of changing your clients and getting a great texture in the hair that you haven't really seen before. I think that if you have a look in the magazines, there's a lot of this dry, dusty look coming out in the magazine. So I think that um, clients like to have it, but they don't really want to have it every day of their lives because now women are expected to you know, have great jobs, look really professional, um, have children and look amazing all the time. But you can't really wear this at the office because it's going to send out the wrong message. But you want to wear it on the weekend where you do want to send out the wrong message. So we're just going to apply a little bit more around the front. But you can see it's got a great texture to it. Um, this works on the lighter heads of hair as well, so make sure if you're choosing a brunette, 
you need to make sure that you are not going to see as much colour, obviously. Um, again, this is a one night thing, it's not for every day. I think that this would be quite tedious to do every day. What do you think? Jade, would you do it every day? No. No. <laughs> but Jade likes it because she's nice and young and she likes it to look different. Jade being a professional model means that she can't have too much of a crazy look, but she still wants to have a good time. And she still wants to look great when she goes out, but she doesn't want to look like a model every time she goes out. Because there's that model uniform where the girls just wear black jeans and they don't look like models when they go out because otherwise too many boys talk to them. Which for some people could be an advantage. But for me it's about changing your clients all the time and giving them new, new textures and new looks that look sort of cool and groovy. So I think that well, that's about it. I think that we've done it now. What do you think? And you can see we can get it really quite messy and chunky, but it's a very sexy look.